For her first 21 years, Harriet Hemings' home was Monticello, and she probably lived with her mother Sally Hemings and her brothers, all of whom we believe were also the children of Thomas Jefferson. At 14, Harriet began working as a weaver in the textile workshop, and then at 21, she was gone from Monticello. According to overseer Edmund Bacon, Jefferson authorized him to give Harriet $50 and stage fare to her destination, which her brother Madison reported as being Washington. Madison talks about the solemn promise that Jefferson made to his mother Sally Hemings when they were in France. They had an agreement that any children that she would have would be freed at the age of 21 which in fact is just about what happened. In an interview in his later life, Madison talks about his sister Harriet, that she married a white man of good standing, and that her new family had no idea of her background. So it's always interesting to me, this girl who's born a slave, raised a slave, then lives the life of a free white woman, but it has to be secret. She leaves her mother, she leaves Monticello, she leaves family, and she can never come back. 